I think Wayne's getting ready. Let's get this show on the road. So like I said in uh, the post I made recently, uh, earlier today, it is 90 degrees Fahrenheit here in Canada, which we are not used to it. So thankfully we have this uh, shaded porch, but now I'm going to step out to the sunshine and here comes Wayne and we're going to go and uh, give you an update on the new hydroponic house. Okay, so we're gonna have to talk super loud here because the fans and all are going, so Wayne is going to explain this. Yeah, we'll go next door to so get rid of this place. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's yeah. Day to all the dads and grandpas and everyone. So Patty's been telling me she's been getting lots of requests for the nutrients, and I mean, this is nothing that we've come up with. We've actually got this recipe from uh, CB Gardens. Greenhouse. CB Greenhouse and Gardens. I'll put the link below. And, uh, he gave us a suggestion, and I mean, this is a pretty popular formula in the U.S. I had a real hard time getting this fertilizer in Canada. I actually had to get it out of Alberta, shipped here. So it's a pretty simple three-step formula. You know, 200 grams of the 48, 38. 100 grams of the magnesium sulfate. I hope you guys can see this. Or Epsom salts. We can pull that out. Here we go. It's a little wrinkled. Yeah. And then the third one is an equal amount of uh, calcium nitrate. This is 15.500. So these are equal parts. And then this one's uh, hot. So it might mix. I put 50 barrels at a time, or 50 gallons at a time. I use 200 grams of each of these and 100 grams of the bonus or the Epsom salt. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll put the um, formula in the description as well. And uh, I'll also put CB's link to his channel and you can go over and ask him any questions. He's very knowledgeable. But let's head over to, this is our hydroponic house. Uh, lettuce house that runs year-round for those of you who are just coming on to our channel now um, We will be doing an update video on this soon But let's head over to the new hydroponic house and show you what is go growing on there All right guys this is 18 days later and Look at these beautiful flourishing plants. We have cucumbers over on this side we have our tomatoes that we were transplant. Uh, we transplanted. There's already a tomato on there. It's only been in t less than three weeks since we transplanted these. You know, so. And there's the tomato. Yeah, so tomatoes. I think this is working out pretty well, eh, hon? Yeah, looking pretty good so far. I mean, the only thing that I have noticed that uh, this fertilizer may be lacking, and that could be of the, the temperature fluctuation we've had here. We've gone from last Friday, Saturday to minus three, four degrees up to the 90s today. So it's been quite a temperature change. And I do start noticing a little bit of maybe a lack of uh, potassium. So I've actually added a, about uh, 10 tablespoons every time I fill this big barrel up with water. So we still have a pretty simple system. I'm only watering out of this barrel. We are going to get set up with little with timers and a little more automation, but we've been so busy. There just hasn't been time and we're here all the time anyway so i'm in and out of here every hour or two well wait a second yes. wait a second we were supposed to take wednesdays and sundays off yeah, that yeah. happened for one wednesday right yeah, yeah one day yeah. we had date days for those two days and yeah. one day it happened yes maybe another day it'll happen yeah this winter <laughs> <laughs> so anyways i know it's pretty hard to hear in the other greenhouse so uh with all the fans running and pumps Anyways, well, I'll repeat this. We're using this 41838 from Master Blend. It's an American product, which uh, is working out great so far. We did find it in Canada eventually, but we had to get it out of Alberta, Calgary, Alberta, shipped to us. Uh, but it's it's working great. The plants look great in this greenhouse and the other green, tomato greenhouse. I mean, this is 18 days of growth. So anybody that saw Patty video at two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, they were just tiny little seedlings, and look at this. I'm 
It's just unbelievable. Another thing I'd like to mention is um, we had one comment where they said this would dry out like way too much or it does dry out way too much. We haven't really found that. Not yet. But no, no, and the plants. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna need more as they grow, of course. But right now, we are super happy with the system. I am gonna add a valve here to the peppers because they're not as big, and I I already see they don't need the water the tomatoes have, and we'll crack that next year. We wanted to try different things this year in this greenhouse. Next year, we'll do just one one crop, probably tomato, and we'll move all the peppers into another greenhouse and the cucumbers. Are but this is just our, our year. We're playing around and doing some experimenting. And we'll see. You know, well, the proof is in the, you know, in the end when we see how much fruit we get out of here. But so far, it's looking pretty good. So I've only got a little utility pump here. Uh, what is it, a fifth of a horsepower? Yeah, a fifth of a horsepower. I didn't know whether it would do this whole greenhouse or not, but it's doing fine. It's, uh, it's watering them really well. Right now, we're going through about three barrels a day. Uh, of water, the nutrients in it. I do two with nutrients and one with just water because of this extreme heat right now. So we're using a 45 gallon barrel three times a day and we know we're going to need a lot more so we've got a, a big tank coming that's just we're waiting on it and then we're going to reset all this up uh, so on timers so that we don't have to be in here so much. I say we're here all the time because we're in the greenhouse next door. You know 50% of our time is spent in that greenhouse so we're in and out of here all day long. So I just want to show you how we did it. We've got the one header going along the greenhouse, a three-quarter inch line, teed off to a half inch. We have these little emitters down here. I bought the gray ones, which I believe is a, a two liters an hour, as far as uh, volume of water. And just a little drip tape in the spike. A little There's spaghetti a, hose. Yeah, I should have actually put water. Actually, I will. Patty will take a walk up and down. I'll put some water in the tank. And we'll run it. You can see how these run. While Wayne is going to uh, get the hose for the water, I'm just going to explain to those who didn't see our last video. We um, did the string system. And let me go to this side. That's better. We did the string system all the way up with the tomahooks onto the... Uh, 11 gauge fencing wire and strung them down and what we're going to be doing with these ones is we're going to have a two string system so we will have our main stock and we're going to take this largest sucker that is growing which will be this one and that will be strung to this string so we'll have two off one plant growing all the way up and we'll get more into that later on but we use the tomato clips right here to hold the hold the plant on and it works absolutely fantastic so we're gonna get more into that and we'll show you what we should have done um, what we think we should have done we've seen people do it this way as well but there's a different way that you can do it earlier on in the plant's life. Okay, so he's got the pump on. So the water's the water. running. Oh, go ahead. Just give it a second here for the lines to fill up. It doesn't take long. And there we go. It starts to drip she's out. already dripping. And that pump runs the whole entire greenhouse. This greenhouse is 30 by 80. And... Uh, how many plants do we have in here? Do you remember? Well, there'd be 57 per row. 57 per row times five. So you guys do the math. Yeah. There's a lot of plants in here. Yeah, well, and a lot of them have two, right? Two at each location? Two, yeah, two double. plants at each location, yeah. not not spikes. Yeah. So. Cucumbers are double. So yeah. that's basically all it does. It just drips, and they all drip the same, all the way from front to back of the greenhouse. And what you have to remember, though, is your... Tomatoes will take up the most water. They need the most water as opposed to the peppers and the cucumbers. Even the peppers and the cucumbers at their full maturity don't take up as much as these guys. So I guess one of the other things people were asking was they thought it was pretty expensive to set this up, but it actually wasn't that bad. The plugs, the blocks, and the bags 
we're only about four hundred dollars for this whole greenhouse, and I mean that that's not bad when you consider, you know, they're clean. There's no problems, problems with the soil, any anything. We give the plants what it needs. So four hundred dollars for what we'll get out of here is you know isn't that much for this size of greenhouse. And of course there is a one-time cost to the irrigation. That was another three or four hundred dollars, but it's done, and I'll have that for the next ten years, right? So. And the spikes, yeah, the spikes, like, yep, reuse reuse everything that you can. The spaghetti hose, however, sometimes will start to crack um, as it's weathered. Um, so when you clear out your greenhouse in the fall, make sure that you're storing these in a dark, sheltered space. You don't want them in direct sun or in the snow or anything like that, and just try to preserve them from year to year. All right, so I hope that answered your questions from the pro. <laughs> and thank you to CB's Greenhouse and Garden um, for this, this recipe. You've helped us out tremendously. So I'll put, like I said, I'm going to put his link. Go check out his channel. He's very knowledgeable about all this stuff. He's got straw bales, uh, straw bale gardening, all that kind of stuff. So you don't want to miss out on that. Anyhow, you guys all have a great day. And... Uh, he gets so excited look at that tomato i know it is awesome so you want to say bye hun okay guys any questions just send them along and we'll try to help you out have a good day